good tea tribe tiana t yeah that's me and i'm back at it again with another reaction video today we're reacting to a video that clarence is reacting to of shamika shamika and tamika tv i believe and she basically found some things about chris that you know we all kind of overlook and i think i overlook it too but i'm about to go see what she's talking about and stay tuned for my raw reaction and you already know i gotta break it down at the end and stay tuned for the end of the video Without further ado, you know how we do. Let's get into the video. Yeah, it's your boy Clarence NYC. Welcome back to my video. And I'ma try not to make this so long. Um, I hate that my so videos today, be so long. I've been asleep most of the day, but you know what I'm saying? I looked through my DMs. Yeah, I know I'm a little jazzy today. I went I'm to work, so I went like inside the office, so got a little spiffy. Four people told me, yo, go watch this video. This is how I really be cleaning up, y'all. Like y'all see me like fresh out of CrossFit. I really be looking like Snatch sometimes. Um, I watched a little bit of the video, you know what I'm saying? And then a little bit into the video, I decided I think I should react to this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because I did it, bust, it bust my mind. It bust my mind out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, So he do speak a little Spanish. What? Like, I'd even peep that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, basically, this is, uh, let me go. Yeah, I do want to give credit, you know what I'm saying? This is Shamika and Tamika TV. I had it right, Shamika and Tamika you know what TV. I'm I, uh, I think they do like reactions and stuff like that. I believe I met Shamika, if I'm not mistaken, before, definitely. Um, How he don't remember if, if he met her? You know what I'm saying? But this is, you know what I'm saying? I heard this is a good video, so we about to get right into it. Let's react to it. You know what I'm saying? Full screen mode. Let's do it. Things that I caught in Chris Sale's video, as well as Leslie. Okay, I think I've seen her videos before. Let's get into sis skin. Her skin is like nice and buttery, soft and smooth. It look real good. Eyebrows on fleek. She came ready for the camera. I like her dress. Oh, excuse me, locks. Her locks are nice and neat. She got the nice little lineup. Nice and crisp for the camera. Okay, sis, you, you snap for the camera. Little slight flicks. So basically, Shamika's addressing everything. The whole situation, you know what I'm saying, that's going on. And I want to see if you guys caught on to it too. Now there's a lot of people that have. Is it her camera or her skin just good? You know what I'm saying? This knowledge with the college. It's smart over here. Make sure y'all cop y'all knowledge with the college merch. I'm gonna put the link in the description, man. Sis got merch. Oh, she she got subscribers, subscribers. Reacting to that next, y'all. Too much to say. And I ain't gonna flex. It's one of my favorites. It kind of hit me different. It hit me different too. Word. Um, I have a lot of new subscribers, but for the people who've been rocking with me from day one, man, y'all know that uh, before my mother died, like she lived a life of drugs and the things that women do to get drugs. You know what I'm saying? So I was a child that witnessed my mother get uh, physically assaulted a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it hit different for the child. It do. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that's going to always stick with you because you had those images and you're a child, so you can't do anything. Uh, so it give you this feeling of... I know like, exactly what she's talking about. Sense. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Didn't she's got so too much to say. And um, in that song, she addressed some of the things that she went through with Chris. Now, I've watched uh, all of these reactions. And in every single last one of the videos that Clarence had dropped, he brought up some of those physical uh, abuse allegations. Uh-huh. Remember that? I have to just be, you know, be politically correct. Until it's proven. On this camera. But he's brought it up. And it made me go back to Chris Sale's reactions to those videos. All of them. And what I noticed that in every single video that Chris reacted to of Clarence, when Clarence got to those parts, he edited it out of the video, his reactions. See, this is, this is, I stopped right here. 
So my boy, because I know you're going to see this because your family DM and told you to watch this. Why? I did not. I, I did not peep you do this. Honestly, I didn't even peep you kept avoiding. The I didn't catch that either, y'all. You're editing the part. The, did he? The I don't watch his videos though. Of every video, even the part of me saying it, so you don't have to react to it, and people don't have to know what you're saying about it. You're sick, bro. You're sick, bro, because you know it's true. And you're not man enough to admit it. You're not man enough to, to face it. You did it on all three. And I was tripping out on you're my so Dang, three times, so God, Lee. Go back to his reaction. You're man enough to do something like that, but you're not she man enough to face it. her video as well. And then I noticed that he cut that whole thing off again. So it made me ask, ask questions like, why is he... Why is he straying away from that fact? You know what I'm saying? Because this side, we trolling on this shit, but this ain't funny. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Now, if you watch Chris Sale's videos, and I watch Chris Sale's, you know what I'm saying? I don't. I think that I have a, a problem with him, but I don't. But I watch his videos. And sometimes... Her nails look good, too. Yeah, I'm trying not to, to pause it so much. I think this is more of a video I, I want y'all to listen to. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy he's doing that. You feel me? Like, I already didn't respect him, but my respect just went even more down for him. I didn't even know he was doing that. That's ham. Yo, comment right now if you peep that. If you peep that. I'm going to tell you right now in this video, I did not peep that. You didn't just find out, like, how I'm just finding out. Comment. I ain't peep that because I don't watch Chris' videos too much because... Right now, I've been focused on the Clarence and Queen situation with his ex. I don't really feel like Chris has a place in this conversation or a seat at this table because it don't concern him. So I really haven't been focusing on him. I watched one video thinking that it was going to be something and man was strolling. So I don't really bring Chris into the conversation because he's irrelevant. But yeah, I did not catch that. I don't know how many people like, knew that. Clarence or Queen. So he don't feel like he have to mention Queen, he can say something along these lines. And drop it down in the comments if I'm speaking facts, okay? Um, he'll say something like, I was getting a lot of DMs from my supporters and they wanted me to react to it. He says that every time. Y'all know how he do. People was in my comments sending me DMs and they wanted me to react to it. And then he'd go on his tangent. You know what I'm saying? Now, I went in his comments. And there's a lot of people asking him about this damn song. They are. You know what I'm saying? Reacted too much to say. That's probably his biggest nightmare. I seen it myself. You know what I'm saying? So it seems to me like, why ain't he mentioning this? Now he mentioning everything else. But why not the most serious situation there is? And I'll tell you why. Queen has been dropping little subtle hints about the physical abuse that she went through with, with, with Chris. Unfortunately, subtle only. We've seen it happen to Savannah. You know what I'm saying? A savvy, whatever her name is. You know what I mean? And one thing that I've always learned is that a zebra don't change his stripes. You know what I'm saying? Shit like... Sis, come through with the analogies. I speak in analogies and similes. I always make a comparison. I like her wordplay. She dope. I, I really like that. A zebra don't change its stripes. I gotta find a way to use that. It's gonna happen overnight. It's a progression. You know what I mean? So I knew if he did Parker the way that he did Parker, in a not even a year relationship, I can only imagine what he did with Queen. You know what I'm saying? And as you guys can see, I always used to stray away from it. Because honestly speaking, you know what I mean? Um, it was Queen's story to tell. Even though I could see it, you know what I mean? I could see it or whatever. It was still her story to tell. Now, a lot of people I had kind of seen um, in my comments saying that, oh, yeah, Clarence should have never mentioned, you know, the physical abuse, yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? And maybe The people I need to know. That. I can't get that. Because that shit hurts me, too. And it's a, it's a part... It's a part of me and 
and me and her. Like, and I want people to understand, you know, like some of the things that we've probably, maybe if you get this and you know it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I just don't get, like, I just don't agree with it. I don't agree with what he did. You know what I'm saying? So maybe sometimes I get caught up in my own emotions and all, but that's like, That, that I just can't, you know what I'm saying? I'll forever be my image of him. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I'm pausing right there. Um, I know exactly where Clarence is coming from in this. Because when you care for somebody, like really, really care for somebody, their problems do become your problems. Like, if my friend is getting played and she's so down bad and so hurt, like, I really want to step in and say something because she won't stand up for herself. Like, I feel like it's my duty as a friend to stand up for this person who's not standing up for themselves. Also, it's not even my duty. It's just something that I naturally do because, like, I feel so much for you. I can't help but feel sympathy for you or what you're going through. I can't help but take it on. That's just kind of, kind of person I am. It's kind of like I see that. Of course I want to speak up because you won't. Like, they need people like us that's going to speak up on their behalf. Even though I've done it in the past, it was not welcome the way I wanted to be welcome. But it's just kind of like a, if I never did, you never would. Never have the opportunity to, like, regain some strength because you was down bad. You was beat down. Like, in the ground. Like, not speaking up for yourself. Like, when you get to that point where you're not speaking up for yourself, you, you kind of trapped. And I don't like people being trapped around me. And also, it's just natural to, like, really take on your friends and just even, especially a significant other, it's natural to take on their emotions. It's natural to take on their pain. You want to take on their pain because you want them to, like, you know, let it go. But I feel clearance. And it's like you've done it to two other girls. You yes. feel me? Like, <clears throat> freed herself. You know what I mean? Now, one of the reasons why I know uh, Queen has probably never brought up the physical abuse uh, situation with Chris is because of her son. You know what I'm saying? And telling I've been seeing that a lot. Her story is revealing some of his. You know what I mean? Now, a lot of the T pages is going to hear this song, Too Much to Say, right? And the first thing they're going to go to is, she shouldn't say none of that because CJ is going to have to grow up and read that one day. I hate that comment because no matter if he reads it or not, He's still in that environment. He's still going to see that. He can't let that go. CJ is at an age where he can remember stuff. If he's learning how to read now, learn how to write, and CJ's talking, CJ can remember stuff. It's at the age where you don't know really how to speak. You don't remember that much. But CJ is going to remember anyway. CJ's in school. He's in school learning now how to remember things. So what's done is already done. What's happening is only going to get worse if nobody says something. But they do the same thing. Y'all videos do the same, same thing. Damage. Y'all talking about his mama like a dog. He got to read that too. Don't pick and choose the content that this little baby's going to have. Oh, she's so raw. And the things that y'all put out. Don't be biased. People put out. It's nowhere near, nearly close to what that boy didn't see. Now, if you can think about the things that he saw with his mother and father, right? He was also present. In a Parker situation, he was also present in a savvy situation. You see what I'm saying? And we got this thing in this world called learned behavior. Now he done watched his father allegedly hit three women. In his eyes, his father is his hero. And watch how nobody really spoke up on it. Or he, he watched how all the people, you know, got abused. And he watched how nobody spoke up about it. Parker speaking up about it, but it kind of got buried because she's in like legal action right now, so where she can't speak on it. So we not speaking on it, kind of goes away. He probably at this age is probably thinking that's okay. He might know it's not good, but at the same time, because he's in such a very pivotal age where like he's learning so much, taking in so much, it is really bad for him. But yeah. Exactly why I said you should care, little nigga. That's exactly why I think you should care, because your, your son is going to end up just like you. 
no matter how much of an influence I have on that kid, you're his superhero. <laughs> Everything you do is right. Have you heard? Home Chef's oven-ready meals are as easy as ever. And with tasty... Right. Everything you do is amazing. You're his world. And look what you're showing him. You have female tendencies, bro. Not gonna lie, you have female tendencies, bro. He thinks. You have female Come on, tendencies, say it bro. with me. It's only because y'all be so quick to want to talk about everything, you know what I'm saying, but not the truth, bro. He gonna think it's cool, right? And that shit not cool, Mo. All to all my young niggas out there, man, that shit not cool. Putting your hands on a woman, treating a woman like shit, putting her down emotionally, mentally, spiritually, that's not gangster. Physically. I'm telling y'all that right now, that's not gangster. Don't let these niggas fool you more. Don't let niggas like this fool you more. That's just not gangster. Okay, Papa, clear that speed. Let him know. That don't make you real. He got all that energy, but there's tons of people, tons of niggas talking about him with his name in his mouth. He hasn't fought nobody. But he's hit girls. Is he hit? He's quick to hit a, hit a girl. <laughs> like, that's not gangster, y'all. Hey, that's real. He will spaz out on a woman real quick. I wonder what they be saying to him to, like, I guess, trigger him. But I'm pretty sure it can't be much because they all seem like sweet women. It's just that that's true. Anytime, like, Chris got some beef with somebody else, he goes to the internet. He got beef with them girls. He kind of take it out on them, I guess, behind closed doors. I don't know what possesses him to, like, go ahead and take care of. I don't know what possesses him to take his anger out on women. Women that he, he's much taller than. I don't know how strong Chris is, but he don't look that strong. But still, men still have a natural strength that we don't possess. I don't know what possesses him to hit women that he know can't hold their own against him. I really don't understand that. Yes, sometimes women do put us in situations where we, we, we have to fight our ego and our pride and everything. Take your ass for a walk. walk away again. Pour some water on your face. If you walk away. Cause that's like sometimes that's exactly what Shorty wants you to do. To reel you right back in. You more of a man if you walk away, Mo. Walk away, keep walking till you can't walk them, Mo. Come on. I seen it too, man. My mom, same thing. I'm getting to my story next. It. Like, like not with, not, not maybe with my dad, but I seen it. And I said, I'd never, I'd never, never do that. Oh man, this ain't got to do, this ain't got nothing to do with a popularity contest. This ain't got nothing to do with, oh, I love Queen, but I hate Chris. Oh, I love Chris, but I hate Queen. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Right is right, oh, wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? This got to do with character, people. Character. Straight up. I think I said that you know in my last video. That's what this is about. And I really want to know why he alleviate from talking about those things. And see, the sad thing about it but is... But you want to talk about her cheating and stuff like to, address, to address, address everything. And they say, you know, you just think that queen is a saint. No, I don't. None I said that already. Saint. I don't want to talk about that no more. I want to talk about <laughs> why none of these other pages is talking about this. Why? Why ain't nobody talking about this? Even the hate pages, even if you hate <laughs> Queen, me, you any, don't see. all of us, whole spicy game. Why are you not talking about I don't it? Know, no. Why do you Drop like down in the comments? Why do you like this? That was one of the pages that I caught that I wanted to talk about. Should get me now upset, moving on man. the list. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm gonna say. I do identify uh, her hurts in this whole situation. And I feel like they're very real. You know what I'm saying? I never felt like there was a problem with her addressing that. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like she focused more on the relationship and Queen being the reason 
on why her relationship failed. That's what I felt like the focus was on. You had five years. Queen came and in the last year. We had this thing where at the end of her latest video, she dropped some pictures. Did I tell y'all or did I not tell y'all that it was only going to be pictures? There was no really actual receipts. Receipts. Boy, That's why I put it like that in my title. Clarence, boy, they ain't that up. Woo! She read him. Where? All y'all my comments too talking about she was married. Oh see, Clarence the dog. Y'all ain't look at nothing. Y'all read the title and just commented. Y'all ain't read nothing. Y'all ain't listen to nothing. Y'all ain't y'all didn't even inspect nothing. You know why I know that? Because he dropped the receipts. Queen says, well, do the pranks on her. We all seen it. Come on, man. I know y'all watch the video. I see it. So I really didn't understand the September video. I mean, the September picture. I, I didn't get that at all. I think what she was trying to do was prove that she was in the basement. Okay. And that's cool. You, you could have been dropping September by to get your picture, stuff. Being in the basement don't matter. All right? Because <laughs> him and Queen went together. Hell, they had you never met. So I didn't understand the September picture. Now let's move it was on. useless. I didn't understand it either, guys. It was a I didn't that understand it either. October and November. I didn't. Let's talk about those. Now, Clarence, you know what I'm saying, dropped a video in October. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Saying that he was seeing people, people. We are grown-ups here. We have been in relationships. And also, people, people. If in October he said he's single... And you posting a birthday pic from December. I mean, you dated him for five years. Of course you want to step in and still celebrate his birthday because you have a good heart. Me, I don't possess that character. I'd have been like, fuck your birthday and nigga, fuck you. But because she's like that, of course you want to still spend a birthday because you probably already made birthday plans. Y'all still, like, y'all ended in, like, September, October. It's kind of wishy-washy. So, of course you're like, well, your birthday's still coming up. I'm going to show that I ain't got no bad blood. I'm going to keep giving you your space, but I'm still going to come through and show you a good birthday and then leave. Whatever else happens in between was on her at that point. It was not on Clarence. It was on her. I have been single with an ex. Broke up with an ex and was single. But it was my latest ex. <laughs> and it still doesn't break it up. It don't mean that your hormones is going to go away. The late nights get real. Well, you got needs. So I didn't understand it either because you know that's your recent ex. If y'all don't know how girls do, y'all know how we do. We like, well, shoot, I'm feeling some type of way. I need some relief. I'm going to call my previous ex. You know why? Because I don't want to gain a new body. If nobody want to say it, I'm going to say it. Don't I want to gain an extra body just yet? Like, we're not trying to be out here whole this life just yet. I mean, some people go out there and just go crazy, but people who like, Still got feelings, still trying to sort through them, still trying to get over some shit. We like, well, shit, I don't want to get another body, so I'm going to enjoy this body that I know. And, you know, at least I know what it's going to be like versus, like, striking out with somebody new. That's all I'm saying. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So let's move on to December, okay? Now, December, we got some action. We do. Because in December, we know at this point that Clarence is still single. Because he said it in October, dog. He did. He did. Now, in December, you got Clarence blowing up the cake. That's the picture she put up. Right? You know what I'm saying? Let's talk now, about it. A little bit after that, you know what I'm saying? Queen came up there on a girl's trip. A girl's trip? <laughs> and who knows what happened? But whatever happened, it could have happened. It's their business. He, he is single. single. He didn't owe anything to Leslie, to Queen. Clarence is so amused. And the other females he was smashing. 
Because he was doing his thing like he said. So I really don't understand the December picture. All it showed was that he was still around. Which he All it showed to me was that you still want to be a good person and show up for his birthday because you already had plans. Or maybe you you just wanted to make a cake and you knew he liked your cake. That's all it showed to me. Honestly, truly, if my ex came to one of my birthday parties and we just broke up and I'm kind of like sick of the ass already, I'd have been like, hey, y'all, so-and-so coming, play nice. You know, like, let's just get it over with, see how it goes. I don't want no problems, no bad blood. Like, let's all just have a good time. You give them disclaimers to your friends. Could have been like that. We don't know. Their I mean, receipt I, 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 still didn't prove nothing. You know what I mean? For real. He was singular, <laughs> not plural. <laughs> and he had no problem with them joints. But it was just Queen you had a problem with. I'm not understanding that. Because in her eyes, Queen won. Queen won the man. They was just a fling. They didn't keep him. Queen got him. Queen paraded him around social media so we're like she couldn't deny it. Queen got the baby. And Queen just might get that ring. So she know Queen is the biggest threat because Queen kept him. They had him, but Queen kept him. Period. What is the video of you like? Did you say you was gonna smash Queen? What is that proving as far as receipts? Well, I'm showing you what it's proving. It's just proven. It's oh, I know him. You knew that the man was single. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, why are you talking about you gonna smash Queen? Right. But it was in a laughing matter. And he was still saying, Yo, I might, might drop that. that. <laughs> single man behavior, boo. <laughs> what, what was the what was it supposed to be? I was thinking about some real receipts. Like when Queen was pregnant, he was saying, We gonna be a family. Now, them receipts. Them good receipts. What you dropped was, drop was, drop was not receipts. What it really kind of did was just confirm what that man and what this woman has said. No, it just confirmed. Yeah, I know Clarence. That's all confirmed. Like, it, that could have been a groupie. Like he said, that's groupie behavior. That could have been a groupie saying like, oh yeah, I know Clarence, look, I celebrate his birthday with him. Oh, he told me about his YouTube. It didn't show nothing for real, for real. Even her first picture, her first video when she showed them on the couch or something smiling, that still showed, hey, I know him. We chilling, we hanging out. For all we know, if he didn't, you know, claim her, that could have been a groupie. That's the only kind of receipt she got. She got groupie receipts. Not no real shit. That's really all that it did. Because even if the pictures from September, October, November, and December matters to you, it didn't matter to Queen because she wasn't with this man. She didn't even get in a relationship with Clarence until July. They did their first video in January. You know what I'm saying? Let's count one more time for the new folks. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That is nine months later after his relationship, they start dating. Nine months. Some people, it take them, you know, two years. I think that's ridiculous. Life goes on. But nine months? Is it adequate enough time to wait to get in a relationship? Honestly, personally, if you're single, even if you wait three months, even if you wait a day, it's okay. Trifling as hell, but it's okay. Because guess what? You are single, you broke it off with the other person, and y'all not even, y'all not even like talking like that. Y'all not even like, hey, like you are my girlfriend. It's no claim to you. It's okay. They went to a Valentine's Day collaboration with each other in February. The oh, man didn't she know, know she know and stuff. I, that's just the way that I see it. And yeah, I did used to be a hoe too, so maybe I'm looking at it from a whole point of view or something. Hey, hoe was life back in the day. No, I was a little, I was a little thotty, little thought pocket. Thought pocket. I was being a little thought pocket. How did I, I know he's gonna say that? Dog, I thought I had missed it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Hey, she's funny. I, that, oh, that was a good video. Just, I can't believe niggas is dodging topics like that and questions like that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, end of the month. About to be end of the month. I think we had a, a wonderful month. I really do appreciate you guys for watching my videos always. Uh, man, go show Shamika some Shamika Tamika uh, TV some <laughs> love, man. Hey, that's a good, that's a really good place to stop right here. Show for show. I'm finna go show Shamika some love because Shamika raw. Shamika real. She got a good personality. I like her. I might, I might subscribe to her channel because like, sis raw as hell. Sis funny. But anyway, let's go ahead and decipher all this right real quick. So, she said that Chris was basically cutting out all the parts of where Clarence is calling him an abuser. Um, I hope I can shed some light on the situation because I grew up with a father like that. I'm not gonna go into too many details, but my father is one of those people, as I learned, that anything bad that he did, whether it be abuse, whether it be drugs, whether it be all that good stuff, any abuse that he did, if you ever try to call him out on it, he would act like it never happened. Like, I literally had conversations with him when I finally got my voice. Because when I was younger, I couldn't speak up. I, it was hard for me to, like, orate, like, what was wrong with me. If you ask what's wrong with me, like, I had some emotions, like, just, like, flooding my brain so where I couldn't speak. I just sit there and just cry. Just cry. I can't speak. It's like my voice would get taken away from me. So, I remember also, too, growing up, I was trying to get better at that. I was trying to finally speak my mind. The best way I know how to speak was, like, put it on, in writing. So I put in writing and I got in trouble at school for saying that. Like he told me to say that it wasn't true. So anyway, as I'm older, as I'm being the outspoken queen I am now, somebody who don't hold back, don't give a fuck, will say what it is and what it ain't real quick. When I was sitting there saying like, oh, you need to apologize for doing that to my mom. He was like, I ain't never did that to your mom. These people will literally dissociate from their personality. They're like, I never did that. How dare you tell me that bold face was out of my face? And you, if you weak, you will literally look at yourself and be like, did I make that up? Did I not see that? Like literally, that's what abusive people do. They will really like evade the question. Evade all that. Cause like, I'll, I'll talk about that my day, but like, I don't wanna hear that. You always talking that nonsense, making up stuff in your brain. Like you always make up stuff in your mind. Like they do that. And let me tell you why they do that. They're so embarrassed by their actions. They're trying to be like, hey, that never happened to me. If, if it's kind of like this, think it and you believe it, you can achieve it, right? Now, if you don't think it, you never acknowledge that it happened, guess what? You trick your brain into saying like, that never happened, like that's okay. And guess what? They still see themselves in a good light. It's like, hey, I'm okay. I'm really truly a good person. I might have like one mis mishap, but like, I'm still a good person. That's narcissistic. That's also sort of kind of a personality disorder when you sit there like, hey, that wasn't me. Like, it really could have been a whole other person in them, but like, they literally will do that. And I can only imagine what Queen was going through if she was dealing with some kind of person like that. Now, I ain't calling my daddy a monster at all. Like, he had good parts to him. It's just some parts that was bad due to his, you know, drug addiction. When he came down off his high, he had a rage to him. I don't know if Chris is on drugs, but if he's on drugs, that could explain some of the rage. But when he come up down off his high, he had so much rage to where he would just like, just go crazy. And I literally watched him. I'm saying like, I watched you in my face do this to this person. And literally they'll be like, I didn't, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. Like it makes them feel better when they don't do that. Also, let me tell you about Queen. Cause I've been in the situation before of like, you don't want to say nothing because that's my daddy, right? I love my daddy. My daddy is a good person most of the time, except he's like, sometimes he's not good. But if I don't acknowledge some of the times, if I keep forgiving them and keep giving him a clean slate, guess what? The slate is clean. The plate is clean. So guess what? It can get dirty. If you keep giving him a clean slate, it's like I get to start over. It's like that mishap I had no longer exists. That's what happens when you don't speak up and when you keep saying like, well, I'm just not gonna say nothing. Like. You keep, it's not like she's directly encouraging him or like saying that it's okay that happened to her. It's kind of like, hey, 
I'm not going to see you as a bad person because I know you have some good parts to you. You could be a good person and have some bad parts to you. You really can. But you cannot be a good person and not acknowledge the bad parts about you and try to act like it never existed and try to act like he's so perfect because then you're not healing. You're not learning from your mistakes. All you see is that, hey, I have a clean slate and now I'm going to take it and run with it. So if I do mess up, oh, I just messed up this one time. We're not acknowledging other times, right? Because I, I got a whole clean plate. How can you even see that? How can you even acknowledge that, right? Exactly. That's how Chris is thinking. And I get how Queen is doing that because, again, you don't want to be the person that be like, hey, he abused me, he did this, and he went to jail, right? So now when your kid's asking where's daddy, daddy in jail because you had to put him in jail. And now when you try to, like, connect the call, right, daddy's over there talking about some, oh, it's okay, I'll be out soon trying to like talk good, good stuff into him, but you're gonna feel that guilt deep down, like, dang, I put him in jail. And let's not like dismiss the fact that potentially Chris would have been like, You gonna put me in jail? You put me in jail, you gonna take me away from my son? That's guilt tripping too. We don't know if Chris said that or didn't say that to her. But I'm saying what I've been through and what I know is possible. I don't need to talk about Leslie no more. I done exhausted that, so let's go ahead and talk about little baby CJ. I grew up in an abusive home. I didn't grow up in a consistently abusive home. So I think that counts for something because if you're not constantly seeing abuse, it don't seem like it's in that of a hurry or that of a rush to go ahead and fix. It's kind of like, a, oh, it's a sometimes thing. It wasn't like an all the time thing. So again, I can see in that aspect why Queen would hold back and say, well, it's not really a bigger issue that I gotta push because I'm not in the situation. But just because it happened, Sometimes, and not all the times, don't mean it won't happen again. As you see, it is happening, and you do have to look out for your son. But I do disagree with the fact that CJ could grow up to be like that. Now, I have brothers. We all got anger issues. We all are, we all some motherfucking earth signs. We all be like, we like things our way, and things done a certain way. Like, we do be like, super snappy about certain shit like that, but... My brothers, growing up seeing that, have never put their hands on a woman. Matter of fact, I think if anything, them seeing that made them more reluctant to do that. They were like, hey, I see my mom go through that, or I'm not even going to stoop that low to even do that. Like, I think that, that disgusts us all. Like, me sitting there and seeing that, I'm just like, I, I'll never deal with that. I know I won't. And also, I don't know why my mom deal with it. I got a lot of questions, but I did get answers later on. She was kind of like a... Well, y'all love y'all daddy. Y'all need y'all daddy. I didn't think I could do it alone. And I'm just like, you going to keep him out there being abusive sometimes because it's not all the time and just because you didn't think you could do it alone? That's crazy. But that's what people who are narcissists and abusive, because my daddy was all that. My daddy was all that with Chris is. just like saying, just making you think that you can't do nothing on your own, that you're not good enough or that you're not strong enough to get up and just dip. They literally would do you like that. But I don't agree that baby Chris might grow up being an abuser. I think it is important to check up on, like, I don't know if anybody else is dealing with this, but I think it is important to check in with your child and ask, hey, what have you seen? How do you feel about what you've seen? Do you think that's right or wrong? And correct him then. Because my brothers, we, they love their mama. We love our daddy too. But we know that we don't want to be him. We don't want to be like him. Like, it's certain parts about him that are good, that we know how to distinguish between like, hey, that's a good trait and that's a bad trait. And all she gotta do is break it down with CJ and hope that he knows that. Because me and my mom, me and my brothers, we never discussed that. It's kinda like an inner knowing that we had. It was like, hey, that was turbulent. I don't like that. I'm never going out sad like that. If anything, that gave us motivation to be like, hey, we not about to be struggling out here for money. We're not about to, about to be out here just trying any kind of drug. We're not about to be out here with like bad crowds, just like getting caught into anything. And most importantly, we're not about to let our anger get the best of us. Because we've seen what that looks like. Like we were so disgusted at all that that happened that we were just like, hey, when I'm out, I'm out of the house. When I get my job, I'm getting my job. This is my money. I'm taking care of myself. Like we grew up pretty fast because it's kind of like, hey, either I stay home and subject myself to this subject myself to like what my reality could be or I can go out there and get it, go out there and hustle. So 
It's important to have that conversation. I don't know, maybe I still got some more healing to do, but I kind of could understand where she's coming from. And I kind of understand about the guilt tripping, but at some point in your life, you get tired of that shit and you want to make people accountable. But people who are going through this, y'all gotta remember this. Either you could say something and get some change, or you could say nothing and hope for change. I'd rather get some real results than sit there and hope for change. And that's all I gotta say on that. So thank you for watching. I'll tune in for the next video, but sis is lit. Sis is real. She, she deserved to be part of this conversation. I really was thoroughly amused. I really was thoroughly intrigued. And I really didn't even expect to open up about some of the things that I've seen. I'm not even gonna go into like, like true detail, but yes, I've seen a man put their hands on a woman. I've seen a man make empty threats. I've seen a man make real threats. I've seen drug abuse in the home. I've seen what it's like to feel so down to yourself that you bring everybody else down. I've seen what it's like to be on the other side of that table. That person who is happy, who is emotionally involved with their family, who is happy to be alive, who is funny, is making me laugh. My dad's hilarious. My dad is so, so funny. My dad is also like very charismatic, but don't let that fool you. What you allow will persist. What you don't allow will cease to exist. And that's all I gotta say on that. So subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Let's have a discussion. Have y'all been in this situation before? Have y'all seen this? Let, let's, let's talk about it. I'll talk to y'all in the next video.